You're now in the tiger's lair. Come on in, enjoy yourself. We won't bite, but we will tear your ass up. Come on in, enjoy. Peace, God. Hey, bro, how you doing? I'm cool. Name where you from? This is Mr. Holipsism, a.k.a. the Buzz Killer, calling from Brooklyn. <laughs> how you doing, bro? I'm fine. I'm getting ready, actually, to go to work, but I just wanted to blow things up before I go get the show it, kicking bro. it live so we can deal with some honesty. Go for it. Because I swear, I, every time I hear women say a certain thing, I, I'm over here ticking. Go for it. This whole you concept of this whole concept of women liking honesty. I have a question for any woman that says that she really loves honesty and she just likes a guy to just keep it real with her. Mm-hmm. Are you wearing a wig? Are you wearing a weave? <laughs> oh, they're not. You got any fight. fake eyelashes or you got any fake uh, finger? Na- I can't even see who the hell you really even are. So how, if you ain't keeping it real with me, how the hell you expect me to keep it real with you? By not wearing a prosthetic dick. I'm just being a wife. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. I I say it all the time to a lot of females. I want a real man. Okay. Take your nails off. No, I just paid this. I just got them done. Say you don't want a real man because a real man will want a real woman. You have to keep it real with yourself. I mean, I'm I'm looking at the picture, Sammy Sosa. I, I call him Al B. Oh. Al B. Sosa. Yo, I've seen that since last week, and I purposely didn't want to talk about it. Yeah, but you know, it's it's perfect example of what I'm talking about. How are you gonna look in the mirror and not like the reflection of what you see, and then and then sit back and claim that you oh I really love myself? You don't fucking love yourself if you can't embrace who you are. Your natural self, you don't fucking love yourself. And you know what? It, what it is is that people we keep allowing these motherfuckers to say that shit and get away with it. And I'm not. I'm not doing it. We make it. We making um another ethnic group of people billions of dollars based on our self hate. Mm-hmm. Well, we can save that billion dollars. Can you imagine what we as a community can do with a fucking billion dollars in terms of education? Bananas. We can save that amount of money. If you would just learn this concept, love who the fuck you are and rock your style. There you go. We got a style that nobody else on the, in the world has. Nobody can duplicate our hair texture. Nobody can duplicate our, our c- complexion and, our, and how we rock it and how we roll with things. We should be embracing that and flipping it. Black people are the most creative people on the planet Earth. We can take a goddamn record the scratch and make a fucking um you know industry out of it. Yeah, whole new But we can't do nothing with our hair. You know, I mean, it, it's just that the hair, the skin, all that stuff. I just hate this whole hate um self-hate. thing where people want to hate themselves, but then they want all of these good things to come into their life. Oh. They want that they want to be with men or women cuz I'm not going to get on women. Men is just as bad. Oh, yeah. Men and women who um are gonna keep it real with them, gonna be loyal to them, gonna do all of this stuff that they, you know, and it's all really selfish. Because oh, yeah. really, what it's about is you want somebody to do, 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 do for you, and you want you don't want to do shit for nobody but yourself. So let me ask you this: based on the things that they're doing and the topic of the well tonight's topic. How do you think the retribution is going to come back towards them? It's comebacks every day. You, when you're not keeping it real with yourself, you're not going to get real things in your life. Uh, okay. And I and I do believe. See, you know, I don't like these terms like um, karma and stuff, because then when you know, like, it's certain words, it's buzzwords, and a lot comes with them attached okay. to them. That's why I keep throwing out the retribution part. Yeah, I, I do believe that we are all a part of this. Reality, whatever, however people want to define it, the existence in totality is usually the definition that I use, and we are part of that. So it's a universal consciousness going on that we are all either tapped into or we're living out of sync with. Right. And if you're tapped into it, 
you put out good things and put things into the universe that's good for the universe so that those good things can come back to you. I think it's it's spiritual. It's not spooky. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense, and it's it's spiritual. Or you're living out of sync with the universe, basically you live in a selfish way, not giving a damn about what you put into the universe and then expecting the universe to reap benefits for you. Come on, you can't have it both ways. Someone in the, in the chat called you the fire starter. <laughs> well, you know, we got to keep it real, man. This is what this show is all about. Let's start. Let's stop giving the politically correct answers. If you, because, listen, both men and women is full of shit. You've heard me say that before. We need to start talking. And start, let's stop coming to the table like we got shit all figured out. I'm the last person to come and say, oh, yeah, this is how you do a relationship. This is how you do this. No, I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking know, but I ain't gonna get up here acting like yeah, you know, cause and I hate these fucking mangina niggas. Oh, boy, fool! Did you hear about the one we had to deal with just recently? Yeah, it's like you get and you don't. You, these are the dudes that make piss me the fuck off because what they do, they get around these women, and they're more concerned with impressing these women and trying to get their number than they are with telling the fucking truth. You know, stop it with that bullshit. When, when every time you start speaking some truth, some mangina ass nigga comes in talking about, well, you know, nah, sister, you know, it ain't about that. It's about you know, you you just doing you. And and and, 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 and man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Brothers need to start being fucking men. All right. Oh, what what was the phrase that the guy used? Um, Pussy guy. beggars. Nah, this guy said something inside that same thread that we're talking about, mm-hmm. and it, it struck such a chord that I had to make it my 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 own my status. Let stem the serious mangina growth in this chat and get back to being men. Right. This was Women right don't. Now. Let me let me let you in on a little news flash for all you manginas and pussy beggars. Women don't respect you. There you go. You thinking that you you getting on her good side by co-signing all of her bullshit, and she's looking at you like you're a fucking herb. There you go. You know who she does respect? Somebody who has the balls to say what's on their goddamn mind. I... <laughs> hey. Well, we already had that show. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and actually, yo, son, I'm continuing on your show topic. I'm, it's not the, exactly the same, but it's, it's dealing with that whole philosophy of pimping. Okay, no problem, no problem. So I just posted it up, so you should be seeing it. Okay. Yeah, but that's the thing, man. Let's 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 keep it real. You know, let's 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 talk about the reality of the truth is that women don't like honesty. Because if women really like honesty, men would be honest. Because men go where the pussy is. True. You get you best believe if every woman made a collective decision. That if you don't know how to read, nigga, if you're not well read and if you not don't have any knowledge yourself, you ain't getting no ass. You know how many brothers would be um, at Amazon.com? True, true. Or in a library? Because they know they ain't getting no action unless they're intelligent. But if women have set a precedent that all you got to do is just show the fuck up and have a dick, well, then why are they complaining about the shit that's going on right now? you getting your brainchild. And men, too. Men, too. You can't sit back and talk about how these women are gold diggers, and I hate the fact that a woman only wants my money, but then, motherfucker, you going around showing everything that you got. Right. So you walking around with a hot dog stand, then getting offended when somebody asks you for a fucking Frank. The catch 22 that they set up for themselves. Yeah. So let's just be real. Let's let's talk about the dynamics that's affecting us in the community on a reel. Let's talk about why um, it's more profitable to be a pimp than it is to be a teacher. Because there has to be a certain thing that's going on in our community that allows that dynamic to happen. And, and until we start addressing that, we're just playing games with each other. 